Yes, I would like to say yes. Diabetic can do both marathon as well as heavy exercise. I am Dr. Kalpesh Joshi from Lotus Hospital, Valshad, Gujarat. I am a practicing diabetologist since 20 years and a long distance runner and cyclist since eight years. So this is the in topic of my interest. We all know that in diabetes, there is an insulin deficiency, means low production of the insulin, as well as there is an insulin resistance, means existing insulin work less than usual. And we also know that number of diabetic patients are increasing day by day. And the main reason behind that is lack of exercise and sedentary lifestyle and obesity. And uh, many studies have proved that regular exercise reduces the blood sugar level. It reduces the HbA1c, which is the average blood sugar level. It reduces the LDL, which is a bad cholesterol. It increases the HDL, which is a good cholesterol. It reduces the triglyceride. It helps in controlling the blood sugar. Uh, it strengthens the muscles. So the, uh, insulin sensitivity will improve. And it reduces the chances of the heart attack and brain stroke. It also reduces the stress. So in short, Regular exercise has many advantages in diabetes. And according to the study, diabetic patients should do at least 150 minutes of aerobic exercise per week and two to three sessions of 30 minutes of muscle strengthening exercise per week. And among all the aerobic exercise like running, cycling, swimming, running is the most effective, easiest and widely studied aerobic exercise. Now, one important thing during running for diabetic patient is the hypoglycemia. For that, uh, we can uh, divide the type 2 diabetic patient into three groups. The first group, uh, whose diabetes is under control uh, with uh, diet control and exercise only. So there is no chance of hypoglycemia in those, these group of patients during running. So they can do marathon uh, without any risk of the hypoglycemia. Second group uh, is uh, that person whose blood sugar is under control on metformin and other anti-hypoglycemic drug which will less likely to cause hypoglycemia. So this group of patients also can run marathon without much risk of the hypoglycemia. And third group of the patient is a patient uh, who requires sulfonylurea, insulin or other group of medicine which can cause hypoglycemia. For this group of the patient, we require some extra care to prevent the hypoglycemia during the marathon. So for this group of the patient, I would like to say that before starting your running, you should consult your diabetologist with your running schedule uh, and your medicine. So uh, he or she can change your medicine, can change the timing of the medicine or can change your running schedule. And most important thing, before you start running, you should be aware of the signs and symptoms of the hypoglycemia, which is uh, palpitation, hunger, perspiration, fatigue, giddiness, like that. But studies have proved that most important or most sensitive uh, symptom of hypoglycemia is hunger. So if you feel hunger during your running, stop the run and take some plain carbohydrate at least 30 grams. So it is advisable for diabetic person to keep plain carbohydrate like uh, sugar bar or chocolate or candy along with you during running and uh, try to keep an identity card which is clearly mentioned in your name, your emergency contact number, uh, the name of your medicine, doses, etc. So in case of emergency, it will be helpful. And try to run along with your friend or colleague who is knowing that you are diabetic. So in case of emergency, he or she can help. And most important thing, if you have developed hypoglycemia in last 24 to 48 hours, Avoid running because in this type of the patient, chances of severe hypoglycemia is more in 24 to 48 hours. So try to avoid running in next 24 to 48 hours. And whenever you start your running program, uh, go slowly, means increase your mileage uh, and distance and duration gradually every weekly or fortnightly and observe what changes your bodies are feeling. So most important thing for diabetic patient during running is to listen to your body. Um, second important thing is timing of running. Uh, for type 2 diabetic patient, uh, most preferable time of running is after meal, means after lunch or after dinner. But after lunch, it is not uh, uh, comfortable. So after dinner run is most advisable for type 2 diabetic patient. It will prevent the blood sugar to shoot up in postprandial status, as well as uh, there are less chances of hypoglycemia as you are running after the dinner. And for type 1 diabetic patient, most proper time for running is early morning. Um, another important thing, if possible, uh, during before starting the running, you check your blood sugar. 
uh, if it is less than 100 take some carbohydrate and wait till it is more than 100 and if it is more than 250 then wait till it comes down below the 250 because less than 100 there are chances of hypoglycemia and if you start running with blood sugar of more than 250 there is a chances of ketosis or increase blood sugar during the running uh, and during long run you also should check your blood sugar every 30 to 45 minutes or after every 5 to 7 kilometers to prevent the hypoglycemia second important thing uh, for diabetic patient is to use a good comfortable and flexible shoes to prevent the stiffness and to use good quality shocks to prevent the blisters uh, the diabetic patient who is having uh, nephropathy, severe neuropathy or cardiac problem should avoid running. And uh, two sophisticated uh, instruments available nowadays, uh, I would like to tell regarding that. Uh, one is CGM which is continuous glucose monitoring in which uh, one uh, coin like uh, sticker is applied to your skin and which will measure your blood sugar every 5 to 10 minutes continuously for 10 to 15 days. So this data will help you in adjusting your run, your nutrition and your running schedule. Uh, uh, second uh, sophisticated instrument available is automated insulin device. What it uh, do, it measure your blood sugar continuously and deliver insulin automatically whenever it is required. So particularly for type 1 diabetic patient uh, during long run, this CGM and automated insulin delivery systems are advisable. So in conclusion, running can be an ideal form of exercise for diabetic patient as it has so many advantages. However, during long run, proper care is required to prevent hypoglycemia. Thank you very much.